Hello everyone and welcome back to Students of Gaming. We have uh, Shane on the Six now until dawn, chapter ten. It's about to get crazy. Yeah, it's it is about to get crazy. Is it? It's about to get crazy. That's all right. It's actually yeah. He's, he's fair enough. Crazy he's right now. Very yeah. Slow. Hey, you can go left if you want. Yeah, let's go. Left. Or you can just follow Mike. Let's screw these people. <laughs> God. Hey, he turns around, looks at you like the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Well, I mean, look at the way he's walking. I, I'm where did he get his... those clothes? He wasn't wearing those earlier. Yeah, he was because he always had that like machinist suit yeah, or some shit, like, like, like a mechanic or something. I like, just feel like, like, like the it cable wasn't guy that or something. Baggy yeah. before. Oh yeah, it was. It was weird because it looked like his his hips were super big. Got those childbearing hips for a man? Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, it is not. Keep it together. Can you walk faster, my guy? Uh, dude, <laughs> it's a miracle that he's standing upright. Dude, this is very true. Tone's right. With that walk, he should have been falling over. Can't even keep his head straight. Literally. Head strong. Head strong? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> strong. <laughs> head strong. Wow, you'd have been super... Super disappointed if you went to a club and you were like, uh, "Can you play Headstrong?" And you're like, "I got a song. I got a club banger for us, Aww. baby. <laughs> Back off and take you on." Uh, <laughs> yes. uh, uh. Oh, magma! Holy shit! He is it's like gone. he's been in. Yeah, it's like he entered water for the first time in his life. Yeah. It's probably, I think it's cold, and I think it's what you're saying is gas. Cold. I mean, it's winter time. Yeah. They're <laughs> underground. But you have to excuse Shane. He's used to Japanese where there's nothing but hot springs everywhere. Um, oh, even in the winter. Just... What? I think it's very no, real. Uh, or is it fake? Hello. That's real. Oh, that's her. Holy oh, shit. Oh, he's a tattoo. Oh. Oh. I think he knows oh. it, too. Well, you said it, Anna. She's helping him out? Yeah. Well, she's taking him away. You did save his life by finding that, uh, that diary. Uh, if really? you don't find that diary, she chops his head off right there. Or squishes his head, sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. But I think having that backstory, I'm not sure you're ever explicitly told that it's Hannah unless you find that. So I, th I think it, I think it just makes the story better. All right, so some uh, more QTEs. I know you're, I know they're your favorite. Remember, the right stick the right, right, right stick. The right you stick. You and those STEs, Shane. <laughs> those STEs, those sexually transmitted events. Ugh. I don't think Sam has had a sexually transmitted event in quite hey. a while. Yeah, that's very sure. Dude, she's all about time and shit. Just place Lara Croft with her for the next Tomb Raider. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah, I'd buy that game. I would too. Yeah, foot. Man, she has some, uh, uh, what's the word? Not stretch, stretchability. Flexibility? Flexibility, wow. <laughs> wow, what the fuck was up with my, oh, that stretchability. stretchability. <laughs> Dude, she's so, she's, she's so hurt. stretchable. <laughs> A lot of S words today. Oh, God, yeah. Woof. My oh, mind man. is scrambled. <laughs> Um, so I think, oh, there uh, yeah, there's something there. Yeah, uh, so I get my head cut off. So yeah, Mike's there we go. still in the cave. Yeah, because she just left Mike. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, you saw danger. something dangerous. Danger. We're all in the flow in the house. Not very descriptive. Oh, what's in the house? I couldn't make that up. Leave. Let's just check it one more time just to make sure. You can't oh. see it again. You can go to the screen and see it again. Oh shit. The option screen. Ah, uh, we don't need to see it again. Yeah, we're, we're it's a cool totem, though. Yeah. It's like a bug of some sort. It does dragonfly. not look like dragonfly. a butterfly. A dragonfly, there you go. Dragonfly. This is, it's not a butterfly like every fucking thing else in this game is. It's not a trap. Stick. Get it? Butterfly effect. Ooh. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. She's taking her time too. 
I think you hold R R one. No, no L one. L one. Sorry. We'll make up. Oh, no, no, no. Wow, her relationships are all the shit right now. Actually, well, there's one Taylor person that Mike. She's, her and Mike are really, yeah, really. They're surviving they've together. Connected. Yeah. And her and Jess were getting along pretty well before Jess yeah, died. Before she died, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's one thing I didn't realize about Jess. For for whatever reason, I used to think that Jess was a new girl. Mm -hmm. Um. But she's not. Oh, that's cold. Yeah. Um, she's but she's not. Shit. She was in the first. Op she was in the opening part. She was the one that was kind of orchestrating the whole prank, which is ironic mm -hmm. because the whole reason she was doing it was because she said she was looking out for Emily. Oh, but then she goes out and dates Mike after Emily leaves after they break up. <laughs> kind of fucked up. It's a I don't know, man. These uh, these kids these days. It's crazy kids these days. You yeah, know, they're all hooking up here. with each other. They're, they're Even though they have more access to other people than they ever had on, ever on, on the Tinder and the Tinder, even just the Facebook. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Facebook. But like everybody in this clique is pretty fine. Like there's yeah. there's like no ugly people except for maybe Hannah. Dang. But uh, <laughs> how can you think head. Beth and Hannah are one's or uglier than the other? Hannah. Is it because they're the same person? Because Hannah ate Beth. <laughs> Fair enough. Argument <laughs> over. You are correct. That does really bring well, down the attractiveness. The, the click is pretty fine. I, I could see them like trying to hook up with multiple people in their own circle. Yeah, just just over and over. Here. Except for Josh and Chris. What do you mean? Josh never dated any of them that we know of. Yeah. With, there's backstory that him and Sam got along once the death happened. That was like his closest wow. friend besides Chris. Okay. But they, I don't think there's anything well, to suggest that they hooked up. Josh is a fucking psycho, but I'm sure that some of these chicks had thoughts about him. But yeah, perhaps. I just realized and he Chris, was a little off. And Chris has apparently had a crush on Ashley for who knows how long. and just never did anything with it. Yeah. He's probably just like super self-conscious and that's why he lifts so many weights and he's so fucking buff who chris chris Ooh. yeah was he buff yeah chris was huge was he really i guess i never noticed that i know the the puffy yeah. uh oh, jacket kind of he's probably just got really bad self-esteem yeah it's <laughs> probably never up well that's why he has to keep everything funny yeah, yeah exactly oh. You look like a fucking he zombie. Looks dead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fucked. It's gonna look worse if we stay out here. And like, that's not how I would approach my friend. Kind of like, hey. hey. <laughs> Just kind of stand there and not say yeah. anything and wobble around. Uh. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Why would you? Do? I know oh, he's man. tired, but Jesus Christ. Hey, it's my. Hey. <laughs> can you? Can you? Can you not yeah. be around me? Look at my raccoon eyes. All right, get down to the hardest fucking part in this game. Okay. Not good. <laughs> what do you think we should do? We should check wait until dawn. Might be someone left down there. Dude's always doing the worst thing. <laughs> I bet you it's Mike that sets the fire to the fucking cabin. Well, you've oh. seen him do it. Yeah, oh yeah, in a previous. Did we? You we... said he was laughing when he did oh, it. Oh yeah. He was. No. He was like, Aah! and then did it. <laughs> uh, do I have to follow him? He was smiling. Actually, are there any clues? No, I mean, there's nothing additionally that you haven't seen already in okay. the. In fact, I think we've looked at that picture yeah. a dozen times at this point. Sure, yeah, yeah, time. 13 <laughs> times. <laughs> this is yeah. Baker's dozen. Uh, She's reminiscing after seeing that uh, her friend is likely a Wendigo. Wendigo, the they, uh, they they don't know that though, do they? Who that that Hannah's possibly a Wendigo? No, oh, yeah, they saw the, the <coughs> uh, journal. They saw what happened to her. Oh, okay. Her, so she could be one. Yeah, figured out that she, that devolution. She was, she was changing. Yeah. Did they put that together though, or was that? Us? I don't think that. No, because she said. I thought she said when she was talking to Josh. Well, no, she said that she was down here, and she was eating, Beth. Yeah. But they also know that if you resort to cannibalism, yeah, that they turn into Wendigo. What a horrific game! Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's very intriguing. 
Where are, and, you, where uh, are you going upstairs? Oh, we have to it's, go downstairs. It's, uh, you should have followed him. Oh, they like, decided to just yeah, like, follow Yeah, you gotta go down. Uh, it's, <laughs> um... It's, it's go down, go around, go right, go left, go, go take a right. Yeah, the stairs are over there. Go all the way downstairs. Now I lost my fucking train <laughs> of thought. So uh, the game is it's it's well made and mm -hmm. it, it's uh it's it's a well produced game. It makes you want to play. Lord, man, what a what a horrible, not horrible, it hor really horrifying storyline. Yes, yes, it is very like, great though. And I guess that's the point of a horror game. Well, right? and these are my favorite types of like this game has some jump scares, but it doesn't base its horror on jump scares. It's just something that they throw in every once in a while. These are my favorite type of like horror stories, like just the the story itself and the shit that's happening. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it horrible, not just because they're slashers or randomly, you know, like oh something jumped at me. Right. Like that's just that's a jump scare. It's not really horror. Right. Just like the feeling of dread here. Mm -hmm. How do you rate our chances of survival? Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to think about it. Oh, he's he's gone. Oh, run! Oh, if it was Chris, he'd be like, oh, about 300, 720 to 1. Oh, shit. Follow them! I'm fine. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, no, like, that's, that legitimately scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold, hold left. No, 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 no. I when, you, when you push I, X, I held it, but then I slapped it I, down. Okay, yeah, so yeah. when you push X, hold left on the right. That's stick. pretty funny. Yeah. There we go. Who said that legitimately? All right, you know what? Fair enough. That fucking legitimately scared the shit out of you. What are you gonna do? Go left. Oh shit. Oh, you don't get choice. Yeah. There are going to be a shit ton. Why is Shane oh. always on the sticks during these important moments? There are going yeah, to be last time a did. shit ton yeah, of are. don't moves you are. coming up. Okay, you're, you're the right man to be on the sticks during those yeah. don't moves. Don't move. Move a goddamn muscle. Oh, that's not the. There's a bunch of them, so just keep paying attention. It's tough when you're on edge, though, right? Oh yeah, oh, this yeah. this scared the shit out of me. Are they each other too? I shouldn't say scared, but I was terrified. That's Hannah, oh, right? Oh, maybe. Yeah, one of them is Hannah. That's all. Oh, so they burned the house down. Don't don't do it, Mike. Wait, see, idiot. he's smiling. He's smiling, dude. I'd call that a grimace. Dude, no. How do you smile? His his, his face is fucked up. That's why. I, character grimace. Oh oh yeah, I know. It, yeah, shake your head. Right, why you have a choice you going up here? You gotta make the right one. Oh. Okay. Don't move. Don't move. Don't that move. Is creepy fucking shit. Don't talk. What are you? No, he's trying to like cause it to spark. Yeah. To blow up. There she goes. She can. She can go. Actually, she's probably gonna survive. You're saving everybody individually now. You have officially saved Ashley. Uh, pick your pick it. Where we go? 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 <laughs> Fuck. Um, I have you only have a limited time. Run to the switch. Yeah. Run to the switch. He's not moving. <laughs> Fuck. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I can make grimaces. But he died. Oh. Yeah, you guys killed Mike and Emily. No! <laughs> That's okay. Because everybody would have died otherwise, right? Nope. If you would have saved Mike, you would have saved Mike, and then Emily would have left, and then you have to do two more don't moves, I think, before you save both Sam and Mike. You did save Sam, though. If you fail any of the don't moves, I think Sam dies. Oh. Uh. And Ashley's alive, too, right? Yes. So you guys saved two! Oh what, Josh? God. Josh? We don't know about Josh. Oh, Josh is still alive. Yes. So I guess technically you saved three. Damn. 
Josh can die too. Uh. Well, you don't know where Josh is. Yeah. Yeah. You guys earned a trophy for getting me a different ending. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Save two people. Fuck. No. Yeah, so the switch, the option run to the switch. This isn't it, by the way. They're gonna, there's, gonna, the there's gonna be more stuff that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, run to the switch, because once you flip the switch, that means that the fire occur happens. Right, which we saw. Which you triggered then, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's everybody's well, fate. Ashley left and everybody else hadn't be left yet. Right. So, like, let's say you had Matt and Chris and all those other people. After each individual move that you make, mm -hmm. yeah. one person would leave the house. So you never run to start the switch. Nope. Damn. You never. You you are never supposed to set the house on fire until the very end. No. I was so scared, and I saw it tear him apart right in front of me. I thought we were close. After his sisters disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought... I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to... I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience... I said I'm fine. You did kill, like, seven beings. Two humans I and five from the kill. Damn it. Or why she was down there this shit, though. I heard her. Ashley was just lucky to be the first person closest to the door. <laughs> It was my fault Mike died. I wasn't supposed to move. But I did. And he saved me. So it's my fault that he died. Damn. Obviously, if you save him, she doesn't <clears throat> say that. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there, and I'd give anything to unsee it. That's actually not helpful for them to conduct their investigation. Yeah, well, right. I guess we're Tell not going to bring some flamethrowers. Is this skip? Yeah, you can skip it. God damn. The rest is just credits. Uh. It's that last part. Like I said, it's the hardest part in the game because you have to make the correct decisions yeah. and hold out as long as possible Fuck, to save right? everybody. So those... Who is that? Wendigo's... That's a Wendigo or not? That's like a newer Wendigo, right? Well, we thought that Anna took Josh. Hannah. Is it Josh? I don't... Yeah. Oh, oh, he's... That's Josh right there. He's a newer Wendigo. And that's where it ends. Uh, yep. To draw our own conclusions. That's the end of. Well, that's the end of our story. Fuck. Thoughts? Totally fucked up my mind. Hopefully they put him down. <laughs> I mean, you would have to think eventually he would, right? Because they'd be missing, and they'd be like, "Probably have to send some more people." But if Sam had been like, "Take some fire," yeah. that does the trick. Yeah. Then maybe that would have never happened. Everybody just bring a flamethrower. Those dudes seemed woefully unprepared yeah. for so, whatever was so, in the mind. So was that Hannah that took Josh? Yes. But she didn't kill him. She wanted him to become a Wendigo too? Well, I don't know. No, you're not. That's not how I took it. I just thought she took it. She took him because she didn't want him to die or mm -hmm. recognized him or something. Mm -hmm. And because he recognized her. Who was he eating? I don't think it explicitly said who he was because okay. it was somebody in the cave. Yeah, and I don't think anybody else died in the, that part of the cave. I think oh. it was just a dead body. Okay. Because it, it wasn't like he was in the cabin. Because then you would know that it was one of the people that got scorched. That probably wouldn't taste very good. God it's damn. um. So yeah, he fell into the same thing as his sister did. Unfortunately, runs in a family. Well, uh, well, uh, well made game. Um, I don't know, yeah. Shane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was a well-made game. Uh, I mean, the, story. the story, if 
like there it felt at the very <clears throat> beginning that it was cliche but it uh it, it branched off into, into some very interesting uh different avenues and and just the fact that you have a little bit of control over to where the story goes makes it very compelling the great graphics good storytelling uh good acting pretty mm -hmm. great acting great acting um the um uh, gameplay was uh you know it was fun enough um there weren't a lot of periods of like oh god i don't want to do this mm -hmm. right um how many hours did we spend on this? Uh, it's a six to eight hour game. Uh, I'm not yeah. sure. Probably we're probably somewhere in the middle. I'm guessing. Okay. And like, how many like uh, different side adventures are there? <sighs> what do you mean? Oh, so like I mean, different like branches? Butterfly. I have yeah. no idea. I mean, that's the fascinating probably part quite of this a game bit. for sure. There's yeah. only the three <laughs> outcomes that I've had. And they've all been different no, to some degree. Is... What I what I do like about this game, especially as I've played other Telltale games where they kind of give you choices. But uh, in the other games, it doesn't really make a difference. I mean, the story, how the story is told is different, but the outcome is always the same. In this game, it feels like, yeah, I mean, the, the, the final outcome is really, uh, your, your choices are crucial to, to that final that final scene. Yeah, because you, know? you, you could have gotten to the point where nobody survives based on what all happened. Shit. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's interesting. It's I, I'm interested to see. I might I might play through again just to see what happens, or I might just, I'll probably just look up a video, mm -hmm. but see what happens if nobody survives to see what the ending is, because I have no idea. I mean, maybe is Sam crucial for the ending? Well, n well yes, because Sam's your linchpin because you control Sam. Yeah. So what you do as Sam matters for the ending. Josh, he'll probably ha having to go regardless, right? Right. Well, he he gets Hannah kills him when he doesn't recognize her. If oh. you don't, if you if Sam doesn't tell Josh about the journal that they found. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's probably better for him. Actually, I don't know. Got to get into the mind of a Wendigo. Who knows? I I just thought it because he's fucked. I think he's fucked either way. I just thought that made the story more interesting, and it actually add the post credit scene because if you didn't do that, there's no post credits scene. Right, oh, yeah. Just yeah. Head yeah. yeah. Before that, but yeah, no, I um, I recommend it, especially because it is a, a shorter game. You know, I don't think this is something I would want to spend forty hours on, but mm -hmm. uh, it it was it was very enjoyable for. Uh, of the time that we spent and i would i would recommend it for those who have the stomach for very horrifying uh <laughs> storylines like this because this mm -hmm. it gets dark and, and scary like and actually, your decisions scary. actually leading to direct yeah, consequences it is horrifying so for those who uh are not faint of heart i would definitely recommend it De yeah. definitely made, more, made me more decisive in life playing this game <laughs> like dude, right, he's gonna have a decision day right, like tomorrow and he's gonna be like i can't be like until dawn do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right well uh you both passed you beat two, the game two, two survivors. you beat the game two survivors two of us yeah, in this room, right? i said the over under was two one minutes. and so you got the over so well yeah. done i said i'd be impressed and i am the fact that you guys, I was actually assuming you would fuck up on the initial don't move, Sam dies, no, and then no. I have no idea what happens after that. That'll never happen with me, dude. Um, but yeah, I, so I, I was almost certain you weren't <laughs> going to let last long enough to save Mike, because uh -huh. you have to get through every single... Like, don't moves? Not just the don't moves, but the decision making. Uh, you had to pick okay. save Mike, which doesn't seem uh, like that's actually what you want to do. However, you do know that running for the switch blows yeah. everything up because Mike had already set up the uh, there's the gas, there was the light. Then it was just a matter of her setting the spark. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, but you you got through enough to both save her and save Ashley. So mm -hmm. and Josh technically to too. Fuck up some police. Um. But yeah, so they died. Rest in peace. Oh, they died. Whoever that, yeah. <laughs> Those people are dead because they went in unprepared. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed our Until Dawn playthrough. Um, this is going to actually get us, actually, it might be, the last episode might be in early November. But we're going to try to get through all this in October, so it's our October special. Ooh, spooky. I'm a ghost. He's a ghost. <laughs> in his head. That's true. In Josh's head.
Right. Yeah. All right, guys. Until next time, uh, class dismissed. Yeah, yeah man. These cherry sours. Oh, Tone should have bought these. Erfie should have bought two of them. He's about to be gone by the time he gets back. <laughs> he better hurry up. <laughs>